G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're starting a new series of videos. I'm calling this one Trial and Error. I had this idea because in the time that I've been editing my own gameplay, I've noticed that I've learned actually quite a lot. When you watch back your footage, you're able to see the options that you weren't able to notice in the heat of the moment. And since I'm no expert and just like everybody else, I'm learning and improving my airsoft game mostly through trial and error. I thought why not share these clips with you guys and quickly discuss what I think I did right or wrong. All right, so let's hop into the video. We've got two scenarios today. I'm gonna let this first one play out and then when we come back, we'll break it down. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, this is a round of King of the Hill. The objective is to my left, and since my last respawn, I know that there are enemy players around here. So I'm gonna try to take the right side and take them out so that we can move toward that objective in the center. So I'm gonna try to come out this window and take the right side. I check it, and it looks clear, but just my luck, as I'm hopping through the window, the enemy player shows himself there. Now, here I pull off a spectacular recovery. You see my barrel will come around and I'll go frame by frame on this. So you'll see here frame by frame, the enemy pops out. I swing my barrel over and I let off a shot right here, right there. And that shot, this is the BB here, that shot actually travels straight to him and I'm pretty sure hits him in the head. You can see it's heading there and bam. So that's an impact. And then I recover a bit better. I put down a second shot, which you see here, and that just misses his head. And then I put a third shot right after, which is also right where he was if he was still there it would have hit him so yeah i got really lucky on that first one but all three shots were right in this vicinity where he was so still pretty like, pretty accurate for a guy that's hanging out of a window or half hanging out of a window you can see like when i spot him i do anchor my right leg a bit better against the wall as you see here all right, so that's done. He calls hit, I jump out, and now I'm moving down. Now I know there are enemies behind this corner, um, but I'm in like this really bad alley and I need to get out of here as soon as possible. So I'm gonna move fast down here and I'm looking over my weapon and not through my sight. I do this, especially in really close CQB environments like this, because yeah, it's just, I'd just rather have an unobstructed view so that I can use my reflexes and come onto a target as soon as, as, soon as I spot it, uh, rather than having some of my vision obscured by the gun and the sight. All right, so I come around the corner here spot an enemy player he's not looking at me i've got the element of surprise I take him out and then i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking and as i'm coming around here i spot this guy so i go to take this guy out now and before that i switch to my left shoulder so i can get a clear shot on him as soon as possible and take him out now i'm going to stay on my left shoulder and this enemy presents himself. First shot is really off target and hits this wall. But then the second and third shots are both on target in his chest. You can see the BB there. 
and his shot lands on the wall here. So he totally misses me. Now, this is where I think I start to make mistakes. I've done really well. I've cleared the right side and I've got kind of momentum now. And that momentum is actually going to work against me. So I keep moving, quickly check my left. And now I'm going to clear my right real quick. Now, what I really wanted to do was get inside this building. But I'll just keep moving forward. And now here, this is where I think I made my first major mistake. I should have pied this corner. Instead, I come around and there's the enemy. Now, I don't know how he missed. Maybe he didn't have ammo or something. From here, I try to recover. Um, I lay down a bunch of shots, but none of them hit him. And then I move to cover behind these boxes. Now, what I do next is I try, I jump, I try to take a shot uh, on him from here. And then for some reason, don't ask me why, I guess like I, I was just stubborn in the moment. I wanted to take this guy out. I decide to run out into the open in the middle of the field and chase him. And then the guy's disappeared and now I'm, I'm hit. And it's just crazy because... There he, there he is. And then a few moments later, he's gone. I guess he fell back into this room, but I get taken out here. That's the objective. So th there was like this natural instinct to want to head to the center. But what I should have done is once I got to this cover, I should have doubled back from this cover into this window and gone into this building because this building has really good coverage of the field. And I could have done a lot of damage if I had gotten into this building. Instead, I kind of went for the glory, went for the kill, and I paid the price. All right, that was the first scenario. Let's play out the second one now. Yeah, I got you. Good one. All right, so let's break it down. So I'm moving through this building. I spot an enemy to my 12. I lay down a bunch of shots, but none of them hit him. So in this moment, I had to make a decision on what to do next. I decide to move out through this door, uh, change my position and come at them from a different angle. So I start moving through here and this is the first mistake. So I didn't I guess I didn't really know or I wasn't paying enough attention uh, to remember that this window was here. Um, so I exposed myself. Now, if this guy was paying attention or the guy that had just ducked behind the wall um, was still holding an angle, they would have taken me out. Um, so this is definitely uh, was a mistake, but I'm moving pretty quick here. So like I see the window, I see the enemy. I know I recognize now that there's an enemy in that corner there. So I come around the corner, I spot two and I put two BBs in each of them real quick. So this was a pretty good move coming around the corner here, really aggressive on that 90 degrees and then taking these two guys out, had the element of surprise there. So that helped. And so now here, I know there's still that enemy to the right. I switch. I come in low and I get two shots on him. He shoots me back, but only after I hit him twice and then I get taken out there. Now, what I think I should have done was instead of coming around this corner, I should have doubled back after taking those two guys out to this point here and got an angle on this guy. I think I probably could have taken him out um, from this angle here um, and then I wouldn't have exposed myself you can see in both these scenarios, there were moments where I rushed and that was the right choice. And then there were moments where I rushed and it was the wrong choice. And I think that's one of the things I'm trying to work on is just, you know, taking a second to just assess whether or not I need to be patient here. Is there a safer option? Is there a way to do this where I've got cover? Um, and, but still knowing when you need to take the initiative or seize the initiative, if you have an advantage, if there's an opening in the field. And so, yeah, that to me, I feel like that what, that's what makes, um, the difference between a good player and a great player. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this series and you want to see more, please let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe for new content. See you on the next one.